<laughs> All right, let's fucking go. We're doing Les Mis. 1,230 pages of how much human time you can suck out of a life with a book. Holy crap, that thing was huge. Uh, for book two of my March of Mammoth, I've done Don Quixote by Miguel Cervantes. A thousand pages. I thought I'd wrap it up a little bit with a 1,250 pager. So let's talk about it. The main premise of this book is it's it's France, it's England, revolutions happening, political unrest, people are starving, people don't got jobs. The next convict named Jean Valjean meets a nice guy, helps him out, gets him out of trouble with the with the law. Even though Jean Valjean's a bad dude, the dude helps him out. He meets some other people in his life. This is basically the story of his life and his daughter's life. And you sort of go through like their the, an average person setting during this time of political unrest, which we can all relate to right now. So I really like the plot. So we have the plot of B. It's not totally original, or I'd have gone into more. And it's basically, hey, you're a dude, and bad shit's happening around you. That's literally every book. But let's talk about the characters. Jean Valjean is the main character, and you sort of see him come up with his fatherhood with his daughter Cosette who is an amazingly good written child. It was hard for me to get into her head though. I know it was Victor Hugo or the time difference. Cause like I said, this takes place way long ago. This was written long ago. Marius was cool. And the hooker Fantine who has the hardest go in this fucking book. She was my fucking favorite character. Uh, prostitute hooker. I don't quite remember what she is. Um, but yeah, the main case. So you have like five or six main characters, and they all kind of get you through this chunker. So for characters, I'm also going to give it a B because there's plenty of good people in here to read about, and most of them have interesting stuff going on most of the time. It's just a long time. Uh, the pros and the cons. Pros: I fucking loved the writing. It was deep. It was kind of thought provoking. And I definitely was mentally taking correlations between what's going on then, what's going on now with this current state we're living in of political unrest. Uh, but it wasn't so overwhelming where I was like, oh, this guy's just trying to make a point. No, I feel like Victor Hugo just wrote an amazingly good story. And we're still talking about it today. Cons. Cons are where this book hits me hard. It's so drawn the fuck out. Like, oh my God, I kill for an abridged version. If I go back in time, I just totally read the fucking abridged version and save some fucking time. God damn, no, I don't care about every fucking freaking company that they buy and how he does it and the silverware. Oh God, there's like 90 pages of silverware. And that ending is depressing as fuck. I don't want to spoil it, but damn. And it's 1,200 pages. Journey. How did I enjoy my climb up Mount Everest? You know what? I didn't hate it. I did not hate this book at all. I'm giving its length a hard time because that is the detriment to my reading experiment. Reading experiment. Uh, reading experience of the book was that not only did I, because Marius was so cool, and I liked Cosette and the love relationship and the, and the inspector Javert and then the, the police and all that stuff. And I really enjoyed the way it did. And I really liked the flow of the writing. It's just everything was flowed like you run it completely out. And then a new stream appears. It's not one continuous stream. It's a... Typically, I like books that are... Get what I'm saying? Like, you, you get... You get, that's how it flows. It did not flow well for me. I did not enjoy the pacing, and I thought it was drawn out. That would have saved a lot of time if I just said it like that. Uh, well, it's only been five minutes, so that's pretty cool that I've managed to talk about Les Mis. But let's talk about the overall score. I'm going to give it a C. I'm going to give it a C. I think if you really want to read this full beast, it's awesome. There is nothing wrong with this, and it is an amazing book. However, if you don't want to read this because you have a life, or you have a job, or at some point you want to actually see something besides the copy of Les Mis, I think you could do well with just the abridged version. I have the abridged version of Don Quixote now that I'm giving in a book haul, and I've thumbed through that, and I'm like, see, I should have done that. But this, this I would totally recommend doing the... 
uh, a bridge version or I listened to some of this on audio. I would have done it all on audio. But it's long on audio. But you can at least increase the speed of that. So that being said, though, guys, thanks for watching my second March of the Mammoth book. Um, I'm going to give Lay Miz a I'm going to give it a, a C, like I said. I totally recommend it as a read. I just think you could go abridged because 1,200 pages, there's a lot of fluff in there. But that's been your boy, Prue, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, stay creepy.